Hey everyone, I'm Cheryl and I am the Carb Addiction RD. As a dietitian, I do a lot of diet recalls of my patients and I have found that a lot of you tend to choose ribeyes. Now that makes a lot of sense to me because they are both nutritious and delicious. But I know that you're choosing them because they tend to be the fattiest cut of beef. And when you're trying to follow either a low carb or a carnivore diet, that means that you're trying to keep the carbohydrates really low, moderate protein and high fat. So ribeye is a natural choice. So I thought that I would take some time today and kind of do a deep dive into the nutrition of ribeyes. So I went out shopping yesterday and found the biggest, juiciest, fattiest, most delicious looking ribeye that I could find. And I cooked it up and I crunched some numbers. So let's see what I came up with. These photos show my steaks before and after grilling to medium rare. That beauty on the left weighed 459 grams or 16.2 ounces before cooking and on the right it weighed 359 grams or 12.7 ounces after cooking representing a 22% weight loss. While some of this may have been a little fat loss it is most likely water evaporation. In fact meat contains a lot of water. Here I show the macronutrient breakdown of ribeye. By weight, ribeye contains no carbohydrate, is 24% protein, 22% fat, and a whopping 54% water. Because protein contains 4 kilocalories per gram and fat contains 9 kilocalories per gram, we can determine that in terms of energy, ribeye is 67% fat and 33% protein. Now there's obviously a little bit of variability between steaks, but that's a rough amount that you can keep in mind. Which means that if you are trying to follow the classic ketogenic or carnivore diet of 80% fat to 20% protein, then even a ribeye is not fatty enough and you might benefit from adding some butter as a topping. Now I know that sometimes you will get together with people who don't understand your carnivore food choices. You know the people I'm talking about, the ones who shrink in horror at the thought of eating so much saturated fat and cholesterol in your ribeye. Well, I looked up the fatty acid composition of ribeye in the USDA Nutrient Database. Of all the fat in a ribeye, 44% of it is saturated fat, but 48% is monounsaturated. That's the type of fat that everyone loves because it's in olive oil. Dietitians should love ribeye for this alone since they want us to consume all those heart healthy monounsaturated fats. I mean, I'm not knocking olive oil, but if I can get it from steak, I'm all in. Even polyunsaturated fat makes up about 5% of the total fat. Of this type of fat, 28% of it is the much touted omega-3 and only 7% is the feared omega-6. Cholesterol is a mere 0.4% of the dietary fat in a ribeye, which corresponds to 79 milligrams per 100 grams of steak. So if you were to eat an 8 ounce ribeye, you would consume 179 milligrams of cholesterol. And it has been shown that the body typically only absorbs between 40 and 60% of ingested cholesterol. Previously, the FDA suggested that a person should consume 300 milligrams per day or less of dietary cholesterol. However, the 2015 to 2020 dietary guidelines no longer makes this recommendation. According to their review, there is no evidence to suggest that dietary cholesterol has any links to cardiovascular disease and the body makes about 3000 milligrams per day. So that ribeye presents no concern on the cholesterol front, nor should we be worried about the types of fat we consume in that ribeye. Next, I looked up the micronutrient content of ribeyes. There's some variation in needs for males versus females and for different age groups. So here I have used the recommended dietary allowances for a 50 year old man. I determined the amount of each vitamin present in a 250 gram uncooked piece of ribeye, which is the equivalent of a 9 ounce steak, which is what I ate for dinner last night. You'll note that ribeye is particularly high in vitamin B12, which is critically important for metabolism, normal blood formation, and neurological function. Finally, I tabulated the mineral content of ribeyes. 
Um, you'll note that beef is pretty low in some vitamins, but you can get those by eating liver. So there's no need to worry about getting your nutrients with a well-planned, low-carb or carnivore way of eating. If you have any questions about how to implement one of these diets, be it ketogenic, low-carb, carnivore, or the 80-20 diet, um, I urge you to reach out and make an appointment with me. You can call the office to set one up at 904 410 Three nine three four, because talking about food is what I do. I'd love to chat with you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope by now you have a better appreciation for all the goodness that ribeyes give us. As a final treat, I'd like to leave you with one of my favorite ribeye recipes. Thanks again. Bye.